Hello, so I recently rearranged my desk and also decided to do some cable management. My primary goal was to convert my desk to allow for sit-stand adjustable. So originally the desk that I purchased was a regular Herman Miller desk and it had legs that were stable, not adjustable. So actually in the very beginning when I first used that desk, the legs were way too tall for me. I'm a short person, I'm five foot three. So if I wanted to be ergonomically comfortable in terms of my arms resting on the table being 90 degrees, um, my legs were dangling. I was raising my chair up so my arms would be correct, but my feet wouldn't be able to touch the floor. So after about a year or two, I decided to buy a sit-stand leg adjuster, whatever the heck you call it, and replace the legs and installed it. And so the good thing about these um, legs is that they go low, low to the point where I would say it's a good height for someone like my height. And I have pretty much forever been working, sitting the whole time. I was a little bit reluctant to even try the standing thing, probably because I'm not used to it. Anytime I would stand using my computer, whether I'm in the living room, I wouldn't like it, but that's just because I don't do it enough. I'm sure I could get used to it. So a couple years ago, if anybody watched any of my vlogs, I mentioned several times that I have knee problems and I still have knee problems. So recently I decided to go see an orthopedic doctor and he signed me up for some physical therapy. And the reasoning for it is probably still the same after all this time. They say that my hips are inverted as well as weak. Inverted might be the wrong word actually, just that they angle inwards. So if I ever do a lunge or if I do squats or any of that type of activity where I'm bending my legs, my knee has a tendency to angle inwards towards my body, which is not what you want to do. So I think that just over time with a lot of uh, not ideal actions through those types of movement. I think my knee has just become a problem and it's just something that I really wanted to fix. So one thing that's often brought up is the fact that I'm sitting all the time. For work, I sit all day because I work at a computer and then outside of walking Riley and maybe doing hikes and walks, which doesn't actually take up too much of your day, you're still sitting a lot. I sit in my car, I sit on my couch, I sit here when I game after working eight hours. So I decided that it would be a good idea for me to make my desk adjustable. So I think in the beginning, I'm going to try something like 30 minutes sitting, then standing, and then keep flip-flopping back and forth. And then eventually I'll work towards maybe one hour at a time, but do it start it gradually because I'm sure if I stood for an hour straight right now it would just be distracting and probably a bit uncomfortable but anyways along with readjusting my cables I did also decide to buy new speakers <laughs> I have been using Amazon basics for years now and I've never known any audio files so nobody could really introduce me to something better or get me to appreciate it I guess which is strange because I love music. I listen to music all the time. I listen to that, my heavy metal and having a good pair of speakers would really enhance that. Let me just show what I did. And I didn't actually use anything too fancy when it comes to managing my cables because sometimes you can buy a lot of products for that, but I think I managed it pretty well without it. Okay, so here's what it looks like at a glance. So I made a couple of adjustments. I moved my notebook stand to the left side so I could put my audio interface on the right. The reason I did that is because I reduced the length of my microphone cable. So it is now two feet. The old one that I was using was probably 20 feet or something very long or six feet, something like that. And it was just too much. And the longer the cable, the more you have to manage it and keep things hidden and neat. So moved it over there. These are Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. I actually bought them today off of somebody locally. So these are used, but outside of a tiny chip in the right hand corner, um, it looks and sounds great. And I do really like the color red. 
It does clash a little bit with the pink that I already have. Everything is pretty much the same. I did remove the light that I have on the left side of my webcam primarily because it's an extra wire and I actually don't like having that light shiny into my face when I'm streaming or when I use my webcam for work. It will mean that my face is darker, but I actually worry about that light damaging your eyes anyways. So this is actually the right height for what it would be at when I'm standing at my desk, but let me just quickly talk about my goals that I had for cable management. So my goal was not to see zero cables. I can try to include a picture of the way it looked before, but just imagine no organization of the wires and they're just dangling everywhere, really. That's the way it was before. So this is a major, major improvement from that and it's also very organized and neat so even if you do see cables they don't look terrible because they're all bunched up together so the first thing that i changed was my router was originally right here so you see that i clipped the cable to the wall so it looks neat and then hi puppers moved it over here and then i have my power cable neatly bundled up and then the ethernet goes to my cape goes to my computer I will anticipate changing the ethernet cable, although it's hidden, so I might not. Even though it's probably not very expensive, I just don't know if I want to keep spending just to make my setup super ideal because who knows how long I'll be here for. So if I move to somewhere else, the length of that might end up changing. So maybe for now, it's really not a big deal. Okay, so this is underneath my desk. So this tray is something that I got a long time ago. I got it when I got this desk. I think I bought that tray from Ikea and my friend helped me screw it in. So as you can see, that tray is filled up the ass with power cables. My surge protector is in there and it is just way too full after I bought my speaker. That blocky thingy on the left is the new speaker power connector. So it added way more bulk than it usually was at before but this is pretty decent i originally bought some cable raceways to make it look more neat but i actually don't think i need it the only thing that added extra cables was just the um kvm switch i believe that's what it's called so i use that to switch all of my peripherals between my work laptop and my home computer so for my switch i used a velcro sticky on either side. Can I actually remove this to show you? Yeah, so it's just sticky on either side. It's not super heavy, so I don't think this Velcro is gonna have a problem keeping this stuck to the desk. <laughs> wow, I haven't removed it before. It feels unstable right now, but I think it should remain. This box in itself is not very heavy. And then all of the other wires, I gathered them they do look a little messy. I'm not the best at knowing how to gather them super neatly, but as long as they're contained and they're not dangling too low, I think it's fine. This is the cable connecting my speakers. And this is just, um, I've got my microphone, my webcam, my keyboard, and my mouse connected to this that I switch between both of them. And then over here, this was actually the area that took me the most thought, but I'm pretty satisfied with it because my desk is able to raise and lower without anything going too crazy. This is my work laptop, so I have it bundled. I actually used the Velcro thing on this one here too because I want it to be stable and not shifting back and forth when the desk moves up and down. So this keeps it stuck here. And for my laptop, I have the power cord. I have one going to my monitor and then the other one goes to my KVM switch to get all my peripherals. So these cables are basically a mix of surge protector and then all of the other ones are either coming from my tower or going to my tower. And I just used a bunch of zip ties. So these thicker zip ties, I bought this a while ago and I really like them. They're so much better than these smaller ones because these smaller ones are nice but very limiting. They can't hold too thick of um, a bunch of cables. So I use them occasionally, of course. So I actually have another one in there. I could probably remove that one, but I just have there. Here, I used a lot of these sticky zip ties. These are perfect for a lot of these 
table management things. I use them up near my uh, speaker. I can show that later. This one, I actually don't know if I need it because originally my idea was that when the desk raises and lowers, I wanted this to slide up and down smoothly because if the desk lowers like this, this ends up becoming like an S shape. It bends because it's unable to slip down. And I think it's because after it gets low enough, this gets stuck down here and then it has nowhere to move. So this top level ends up getting bunched up. And right now when it lowers, I can show you guys in a little bit, but this side bends out that way. And it might stick out a little bit near my tower, but from where I stand and where I sit, that's not something I will easily see. And the cables themselves are not bending at an angle that is bad for them long term, so I don't think it's that much of a problem. Also for these lower ones, it would be nice if this was tied down here so it's not sticking out and as visible. But what I did notice is that when I'm raising my desk, or actually, sorry, this is at the max height that it needs to be at. But when I raise and lower, this will be moving around a bit. So if I contain this all the way over here, I think it could become problematic with the movement of the desk up and down, or maybe it's not, <laughs> who knows, maybe I'm wrong. So actually, I need to put this in here. Do I? Yeah, this looks bad if I leave it out like this. This is just a quick peek behind showing my speakers. So you can see that I have those sticky zip ties that I used on two of the cables to make sure that they go out directly behind my speaker. Otherwise, the silver one has a tendency to stick out sideways instead of going straight down. So that is just to help keep it looking a lot more clean. All right, let's take a look at how the cables will bunch up when I lower it all the way down. Not bad. Yeah. So at first I did just the white cable by itself, that's my surge protector, just to see how that would gather. And then once I felt like that one handled rising and lowering well, I did all of the other black cables together at once. Just to give another idea. I actually don't know exactly where to stop. I think that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with it.